Good morning. Welcome to my channel. Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. My last video was pretty emotional, but yeah, it was it was a really interesting weekend. It was I didn't even tap into the part where I've been in Newport for six, seven months and the locals are just starting to warm up to me. Like committee members and you know, guys that I've seen sit from the, this big guy, his name is Mike, Big Mike, right? He's a big dude. And they come up and he just started talking to me about my art and stuff and traveling and all that stuff and just had a great conversation with the guy. And I've seen him like a, you know, all, all you know what I mean? And I've seen him last year too. And people are just, it's interesting that it takes, it's like courting a whole town when you go somewhere. And this is the thing, towns need people. I mean, this, this community is going to need, they need artists. They need you know, there's a lot of elderly in this community, right? And eventually people go and they pass on, God bless them, and then they, you know, they need fresh blood, but they need artists. And I think a lot of small communities are going to have to start advertising for, like, people to come live there. And they're going to probably do applications and want them to be at least talented in some areas, maybe good teachers, law enforcement, which, you know, I could bust heads if I had to, but I'm just not into that, right? I'm, I, I'm like I said, I'm built for war, but I'm... I'm a man of love. I love it. So anyway, you know what I mean. So a teacher sounds good for me, like art or whatever. But um, yeah, and I was actually talking to one lady that bought one of my paintings about um, doing, they have a seawall at Nye Beach and it's just bare. And people graffiti and they cover over it, but there's no mural on there. And she was like, that would be cool. So anyways, I thought it'd be kind of neat. My first painting that I've ever did, that I ever did, was a mural in a bedroom. That was when I, after I got stabbed, I was just had some time off and doing my thing. So and I thought I'd try painting. I just grabbed a bunch of paints and and it was really cool, man. I was just, it was, I was blown away by. I was like, and this is something I never even. And this is in my twenties when I did this. As a kid, I just never, it never dawned on me. I was really into chicks. I was girls. I loved. I mean, yeah. Even as a kid, little. You know, kindergarten, first grade, I was chasing little blonde girls around. Just the girl, her name was Lauren. I was, oh, yeah, I had a big crush on her. Anyway, but yeah, so I was so, I mean, that was just, you know, I probably would have been better with the boarding school, maybe, if it's just all boys or all girls, you know, that kind of thing. Because, man, I was just like, they were so pretty. I was just fascinated by women. All, you know, guys were into cars and sports, and, and I was good at sports, so that wasn't a problem. Cars, not so much, but I, like I said, I was just fascinated by the female form who knew it was the, art, the artist in me right uh, the aesthetics of it anyway, but, so I had a great weekend that was just really emotional when they bought my sunflower I was just didn't realize the depth of their you don't know what people are going through right it's just like and it was like it wasn't like we even had a conversation they were just like like I said that 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 father looked like he was ready to fight for that pain yeah, like, wow. that's I'm still what I think about I was like oh my god I'm just, and if it helps them to feel, I mean, that's what I'm like, you know, are my paintings healing people's hearts? You know, what the hell? I mean, it's beautiful. I call them eye massages, just to be cheeky, and but they are, you know, if you're going to paint something, paint something beautiful, you know what I mean? I'm not big in the darkness and skull and bones, although my next painting is going to be some, a black background, or really dark. I mean, I'm going to do something really bright in the foreground, like maybe have a glow of the dark, maybe a whale or something, you know, octopus. <coughs> anyway. So I'm doing a bunch of paintings and they're really cool. I mean, I literally sold six paintings in the last week. So I'm on fire with the paintings. You know, the rest of the world is just, uh, hopefully we're correcting some stuff, right people? I mean, I don't know. I mean, quit hating. That's some, quit pointing fingers at anybody. I don't point fingers at nobody. I'm like, I'm working on me, this, my heart, my mind, uh, getting my balance, everything cool. Without having to take a bunch of um, pharmaceuticals from Big Pharma. I don't know how people do that. And I drink lots of water. I drink a shitload of water. I was talking to a guy and he was like, how old are you? He was like 52 and he's looking at his wife like, see, look at the look at this lifestyle. Look how great he looks, right? I mean, like, I don't look my age, apparently. But I drink a lot of water and I try to eat healthy. Lots of bananas, fruits, orange juice every day. You know, that kind of thing. I'm trying to put good into my body. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do alcohol. I smoke marijuana. That's it. And I should probably even not even smoke it. If I could do chewables, I'd do that. But they're more expensive. <clears throat> so anyway. 
So life is not bad. It's just it's what you make of it. And this this van life is interesting. I'll be, I was getting comments by the little girls like, oh, "Your van is dope." I'm like, "Okay, cool. It's dope." I'm just not even gonna try to go there. But anyway, but yeah, it's cool. But, you know. And then I gotta go. I wanna go back to the desert. And I'm like, man, you're just warming up to me, people. Anyway, so it's not all doom and gloom. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I was just thinking about, you know, everybody, you, whoever watches this, if anybody watches this, uh, they're really going hard on my videos, man. I'm getting no views. Like my last painting, zero views. Zero. And I usually get at least 100. You know, well, I was getting 100. Then they, now how do they stop? I don't know how they just, I get like 200 views on a painting and then just nothing, just butt cold. I don't understand how that works. I don't understand how the YouTube algorithm, you know, it should be like you post a video, right, to YouTube and it should just go out into the ether. And if you put hashtags on it with somebody's looking for, a, you know, art, painting, ocean, octopus, whatever, that should pop up along with everything else. It's just this cock block and it's got to stop, man. It's just sad. It's really sad because the company is doing that. It's not even, you know what I mean? It's like, I have over 700 videos. It's it's all about the money. They're trying to, they're doing this to a lot of people. They block your viewers. They block how many people, like people could be liking the shit out of my videos and I wouldn't know it. I've had people that were like, they were used to getting like that, lots of likes, like thousands of likes. And they're like, dude, I'm, all my videos just go no likes. It's like, I have no views. These are popular people. So they, they fuck with people you know it's anyway that's just now true bad mojo baby bad karma whoever's doing it stop it anyway so i'm gonna do some painting today and i'm gonna rock and roll i'm gonna keep living in the light i'm gonna keep loving myself i'm gonna keep hoping everybody else starts to love themselves and stop taking the bullshit from people don't just just don't just don't listen to assholes and there's a lot of them and they're all politicians. So you're guaranteed to have an asshole in every politician. So that's just a given. It's the people that don't want to be the politicians who should be the politicians. So the dude that doesn't want to be the president should probably be the president. Not the asshole who's like, oh my God, I can't wait to have that power. It's like, oh yeah, sit down, babe. Maybe not for you. Go, go, you know, clean a toilet or something. But, but you don't need to be having no codes to, to nukes and shit. So, you know what I mean? It's always the reluctant heroes that we need. And all we get are fucking over the fucking top douchebag car salesmen. Scumbag lawyers. So anyway, I digress because we're better than that. We're going to have a good day. I'm at the ocean. I'm dreaming about the desert already because that's a whole fascinating. The desert is quieter. I think the only difference between the, the desert and the being at the ocean is the desert is just so much more quiet. It could just be like eerily quiet. I love that. But yeah, a lot going on at the ocean. Lots of birds, lots of animals. Although there's a lot of wildlife in the desert. But I'll, we'll talk about that when I'm in the desert. Anyway. <sighs> okay. How you doing? <laughs> I don't... This is silly. Anyway, have a great day. I love you. I know. It's been rough, I know. But we're going to get through this. God loves you. And so does the universe. The universe is crazy. Especially in them jeans, you know what I mean? So, have fun and have a wonderful day.